I did want to talk another um, about something else. Um, some years back, when uh, there was war, uh, there were prisoners from the Middle East or Muslim prisoners in in facilities, and they took the Qurans away from those uh, prisoners. And despite being warned not to talk to the FBI, I did call it right to the FBI and tell them that uh, the Quran is legitimate. Um, it is no less legitimate than the Bible. Well, maybe uh, the Bible is not. Uh, well, I do critique the, the Bible. Um, I have found some things in there that I, I don't believe in that Jesus couldn't have said. But um, I. Uh, I did contact the FBI after being told not to contact them or being advised not to contact them, and I told them that uh, the, you know the Quran is legitimate. Uh, it's it, like I said, Islam is on the Sunday side logo. The green on the Indian flag is Islam. Uh, there's Shirdi where there's um, where Lord Shiva Shirdi Sahib lived in a mosque. So there's that uh, instance where Hinduism and Islam are exist under one house of God in a mosque. So um, there's Gandhi's India, and, and I do anoint uh, Mahatma Gandhi the number one Shirdi Bhakt in the universe for the work he did for Muslims and Hindus. He's the number one Shirdi Bhakt in the world. To him, he's the number one Shirdi Bhakt in the world. So that's another thing I did is said that by taking Qurans away from prisoners, you were turning the United States into somebody who is who said that the Quran was not the will of God, or the, the word of God, rather. So I did bring that to the attention of the F FBI.